What was the darkest period in your life? Sikani venye ni mingi mpaka nashinda which is darker than the other. Was your life that dark? <laughs> it was in so many elements. Huh? Okay. But I think is the day we were thrown out of home. Oh, yeah. Kwa very young. I think I was in nime tuka. Hata tulihamishwa na villagers waka nyumba yetu ikabomolewa na ikabebwa. Tukapelekwa. So, okay. Very far. You know the story. So. And even yeah. mom narrates it very emotionally to yeah, date to this very day you know you, when you uproot people from their home it's, a, mm. it's not easy and you see people who are doing it up your relatives what's, what's up, up people? people my name is dominic and i'm purity thuku and together we are the, the thukus. thukus and here we are all about love, love hope, hope and good, and good vibes. vibes yes yes so um dominic uh is a father a born again christian and a husband to one lovely lady purity and we are really excited to be here today. I'm Purity, as I said, I am born again, a mother of four, and a wife to one amazing man, Mr. Thuku. Yes. 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 So today we are on not on our channel. Yes. We are on the the couple, couple show. show. Yes. yes. And karibu sana. Yes, yes. So today we have uh, a number of questions that we are going to ask each other mm -hmm. about ourselves about our marriage about a lot of things that will help you know more about us will help us know more about each other it's a way of discovering and rediscovering ourselves <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yeah we you excited yeah yeah totally totally and uh, huna in the jitters or anything no. nothing to hide no all right so take it away so 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 I'll ask you my first question. Yes, be kind. <laughs> be nice. Okay. Three reasons why you chose to love and marry me. Yeah, so you you ni kama peremende raisi. So yeah, so cause uh, that I saw you were born again. Mm. And not only are you born again, you are dropped at gorgeous. Mm. So beautiful. And I I I know Jackpot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, of course, you are very kind. I, I think um, that heart of kindness, and, uh, especially to people, to me, that was outstanding. I think those are three, but I have a whole book. A but thousand. I think those are enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you've answered. Okay. Are you disappointed? No, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, do I make you feel loved enough? To be sincere? Just actually. No tell that you, you promise in the to beginning. To be sincere and candid. Yeah. More than enough. I feel loved. Eh? I feel loved. I feel spoiled. Ongeza. You said more than. Yeah, I don't love, want enough. enough. I want more. <laughs> okay, so. So I've answered. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Thank you. So number two, what has been our pettiest fight yet? You asking me or you are telling me? I'm asking you. It was uh, this day we were going. I don't know where to go to Nyanda. Then we can Kalisha. Then I thought we'd go out talk. Then me and my kungoja. Then we talk. So we can make kungoja up on there. Then we go to show up. Was well, that even I a was, fight? Uh, it was thorough confusion. Yeah, but I was. It, 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 Maybe you I don't know. What happened, guys? Yeah, listen, my friend, I'm in Yacha. So me and my kajua, my friend, I'm So I didn't even try. So he's out there waiting for me. I'm here done with the safari. So you, 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 you but then jokes. we stayed. Hey, we stayed. It was like an hour of him waiting. And I think, was that petty? Oh. That was serious confusion. Oh. That's not petty. No, uh, I find that we realize I think we had a misunderstanding. Yeah. So I think it turned out to be petty. Like in Karibu, he escalated. Hey, he escalated. Okay, hey, yeah. Well, I wouldn't have classified that as petty because <laughs> the consequences really <laughs> spiraled. <laughs> no, the, the consequences spiraled because wherever we were going was timed. Ulichelewa, nikachelewa, tukajamishana, tukafika tumekasirika. But if it was petty, that's okay. No, maybe you tell us you're petty. <laughs> No, petty is like what? Fights kill them to and a different opinion. I think anything that is a misunderstanding, I, I call it petty. Kuna zile substantial, like kuna substance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the only two, I think misunderstanding, kwa mjami, nita kuwacha na nika enda kutuwa gari. Yeah, mbeni acha, so nika kaa. Three characters of mine, 
you admire the most? One, you're very caring. And I saw that even before our marriage, when we were still dating, time in, I mean, case in point, there's this time I was having a hard time with clearing from campus. And at one point, I think Nikambiwa, all my units are missing. I have to redo a whole semester. So I was so heartbroken, I was crying. But that time I was crying and praying. So of course I didn't think anyone would tell the difference between crying and praying. I mean when Kuzama too, like I'm just all spiritual. But I remember that night you texted me and told me it ripped my heart apart to see you cry. What could be wow. the problem? Where did that guy go? He's still there. He's still there. Okay. To be sincere, he's still there. You're still very caring to this very day. He he goes out of his way on matters care and I, I love that about you. Okay, that's one. Number two, you let go easily. You don't hold grudges. And I think with time I'm learning that from you. Uh, we could have had a big fight, you, you let go easily. And I honestly like that about you. Number three is that you're very generous. You're very generous. Yeah. To not chop money in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you're very generous. I love that about you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, 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 okay, we, I, I don't think we had a lot of other issues. Um, maybe part of uh, you know starting the life together, and uh, a girl from the park and the guy from the hood meeting together, and now yeah. from two different worlds. Maybe starting there, although, but we are. I think we we did adapted very we well. We did. Yeah, and we are very broke. For me, the issue of being broke was. The it was too one. much. It was too much. I think it was too much. Huh? It really, to really keep it here. Yeah. If I was to answer the same question, yeah. me, I had a hard time adjusting. Yeah, of why? In terms because of what? I was used to a lot of things being done for me. Mm -hmm. Growing up, we've had house helps all along. Now I had to come and wash, cook, do so many things. Ooh, I had a hard time. But why were you doing it? What you do you afford? mean? We couldn't afford help, exactly. but honestly, just the so two of us in a house broke. and we have help already. I think it's been broke. Hey. Yeah. Okay, that was one, but also... There are times I think you want to feel, hey, when you are occupying my space like permanently. Like, Like, when you are going to be like two weeks or something. So anyway, with time, with my weakness, so... I adjusted eventually, but anyway, uh, that was your question. So no, 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 that's good to know. So, what has been our rawest moment as a couple? Before we, you know, with time we had to be very deliberate about learning about marriage. Mm -hmm. Because before to learn that all these issues, what were my pitya and their ways out, we really ate to learn about Like the issue in Dogo, as you're saying, it's very petty. But in Ezenda for weeks and weeks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. me, I used to hate our fights. Not fights per se, our disagreements. But now with time, as we come to learn, it's difference in perspectives, difference in backgrounds, difference in opinions, which are okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I, okay, I, th I think I agree with you. Though there is one that was very outstanding, too. also was a low moment. You know, we were broke, as, as I was saying. Then I, I I was working in Kemri. Remember, I had just gone there. Oh my God! Can I narrate it? Let, <laughs> give me the honors. Oh my God! Where? Now that was low. That was low. Yeah. Guy. Okay. Now this is it. When when we got married, and just some few years later, I think it only got worse with time. So at one point, he was working in Kemri. Yeah. As a research analyst. I'm a researcher. Yeah. As a researcher. Aguna kakitu, ni kuin, ni As a researcher. Kubwa. Then akaka mkula, eh, jina kubwa na kuna pesa. <laughs> then he came to learn that sijui watu wana, wana kuja, wana peana, damu, wana lipua. 3K for a pint of blood. Imagine. 
Free money. One time, my husband Free comes home with 3K. By that time, 3K was like a million. That's a lot of money. And I come na 3K, and I'm thinking, wow, babe, kwenye we pata hey. haso mpia. <laughs> I love how I'm getting to lose a damn guy. I cried. I feel like to me, like we are now selling body parts. For me, that was like a body part. No, you escalated. You know, in research, you use no, no, no. blood. Huh? People come and they give blood, we pay them. Then I realized, why should I be no. paying other people? Hey, hey, hey. I have mine. Matunda ndiyo ile maspina zimeja huko kwetu. However much it away is sanitize so, me for me it meant you have sold a part of you uh, for us to eat. Me that time ata niki nikiomba yani nilikuwa nauliza Mungu tumefika hapa. Cuz you question now the next time you'll come without teeth ndo tukule. <laughs> like kumepeana for research. Me, I was so excited we just found a way out like Hey apana me I panic. Uwe me I panic. Two weeks or three you have enough blood to give a pint. Eh. And the body replaces as much as you <laughs> you donate so <laughs> hey, nimekuja na story poa hey, eh mazee nimepata Ati ndo hii mado lakini the na shindo eh pesa ile kamba nilichapo hapo nilishangaa like No but it wasn't you but I wasn't even rebuking you nilikuwa na feel babe no you don't have to do yeah, that Hurry too fast or something yeah pana that one if that was low okay, that, that was low for me Yeah so I think that, yeah. that one was a highlight Yeah <laughs> How do you find marriage life so far so time. far so good oh my goodness i love marriage okay i love being married okay. especially to you uh-huh. so it's a, it's, a, it's a like i'm looking forward to like every day is like uh, something is an like an adventure okay yeah even the challenges the disagreement i think you reach a place you mellow and then yeah there's nothing like out of the blues or maybe in other levels we don't know but point is so far so good yeah i enjoy yeah and i think it's gotten better with time yeah? absolutely yeah yeah and also with being intentional mm-hmm. yeah putting in the work yeah so the second part of the question is do you miss anything from your single days i, I don't think there's anything i miss about being single except um you know sometimes when you look at the responsibility and you look at the kids they they are just there and they don't care I know. they don't know whether they feel or not they you know yani wao wana chapa tu nini huko yeah how can i feel like i i miss that like like yeah. I, I, i'm worry not thinking, free yeah, life no ningeingia kwa mtu nakula alafu hiyo story imeisha yeah. you can you can survive one day at a time yeah. ningeingia mahali kwa tea na kasi kabla realize ni kwa siendi haraka yeah. wiki imeisha nimekula <laughs> kwake naenda kuingine yeah. like now now you have to face the music mm-hmm. yeah so that's the scam beat of growing up ah mazidi scam but yeah So yeah, that's my question. So what have you learned to appreciate about me that you did not know when you first got married? That you are very visionary. Uh there are times I would come with ideas and uki turn down ama when you don't take it up, I would feel like it's personal. But now with practice and with seeing what comes out of something when I follow your lead I've learned to trust your lead. So that's one thing I've come to appreciate. Mm-hmm. That when I when when what I say is contrary to the lead you're giving, I should take time and actually think about it and not take it personally. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mikono na kuwekelewa yeah. mikono. Umeni umeko usiku na pata <laughs> oh, yeah. kichwa imekelewa mikono. He prays for me a lot. <laughs> At, uh, there are times when he will be in Sumbua na shindwa to ki decide to on the different times where do you have to wake me up like nasikia tu and dear lord and blah 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 okay so i i love it i appreciate it <laughs> yeah okay what was the darkest period in your life darkest period scan vinya ni mingi mpaka na shindo which is this darker than the other <laughs> was your life that dark <laughs> uh, it was in so many elements huh? okay but i think is is the day we were thrown out of home Oh, yeah. Kwa very young I think I was in it kwa hata tulihamishwa na villagers waka nyumba yetu ikabomolewa na ikabebwa na tukapelekwa okay. very far you know the story so and even yeah. mom narrates it very emotionally to yeah, date was, to this very day you know you, when you uproot people from their home it's, uh, yeah. it's not easy and you see people who are doing it up your relatives so i, do, I think it was a dark moment and i think yeah. that i matter ni venye tu na feel then god i was a young person yeah because uh, was it your time you were humiliating you were getting i was gonna feel like unaweza amua hao nao kaja ni sisi na kusema mimi okoka lakini kuna venye ulikuwa na feel like wow thank god i was young yeah. i couldn't do so much yeah, yeah and uh, 
Anyway, uh, Mungu ali akitutoa mahali of course he was there and he allowed us to go through that. And now it's a and testimony. Yeah, mm. it's a testimony, but yeah. it was a dark moment for us yeah, especially yeah. being young. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right, so mm. when did you feel the most supported by me? Me. Okay. Are the most supported by you. Oh. Hmm. I've worked in several places and there's one where I was dismissed unjustly. And that time because I was so low and I I went through all the phases of loss. Mm-hmm. At one point I was very angry, at one point I was in denial. At one point I was bargaining like was this even fair? I felt like I would call them and ask them to reconsider. The, all that. I went through all that and through it all you tried to understand the faces and you walked the journey with me. So when I was angry, you'd actually understand that I'm angry. You didn't try to show me why I shouldn't be angry. You didn't try to play it down. You understood the whole process. I don't know how but it was really important that you did because mm. the emotions were so strong on me. When I was angry I was really angry and I would feel angry at anything and anyone. So, at times even when I'd be angry at you, you would understand what I was going through and you didn't take it personally. I I would feel looking back you it's like you, God used you to help carry me through the face mm. the season, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so my yeah. question is, what is that one thing we are looking forward to as a couple? I, I remember we, we had a pact of traveling the world. Yeah, yeah. And I think we have uh, some places that we gender. Okay. And I think we had a, we have a, we had a plan and we still have yeah. Yakonda states yeah. together. Mm. And I think that's a plan because you said one. There are many, but I think Yoni Moja, I know that yeah. it's in the works. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still on a to-do list. It is on a yeah. to-do list. Yeah. And, and I think that's one of the many yeah. that I call in my head. Mm. Mm. Okay. So what were our reservations about joining YouTube? Uh, one thing I've come to learn, when your life is really out there, uh, there's hakuna ile privacy. Because you can you can put out your best face but up to a certain point kuna wakati maybe i will i will be on camera but not at my best kuna wakati maybe i lash out at someone so when also you expose yourself so much to people you expose yourself to anything to criticism to even hate because you know when someone loves you they also have the potential to hate you so when you there's that like exposing yourself too much that was one reservation the other thing is now privacy. So uh, like let's talk like as we as it is right now. There are people who already know me at already at only 8000 subscribers. Only like Nengia Mall, hey, purity thuku and I'm thinking really we were just me and doing the mall doing our kaida things but kumbe I am not just your kawaida shopper. So there's that lack of privacy. Eh mm-hmm. uh, and not just maybe in a mall manini but una realize now you have to be a brand. So see wakati ningetoka na pajamas niende kwa mall ninunue mkate ni rudi. We can do that in a We can. Okay. We can. But now yeah. not not with the same comfort you'd be just carelessly <laughs> me because not because <laughs> people cannot <laughs> understand. Hmm? Not not because people cannot understand yeah. but again the same thing yenye nasema when you expose too much of too much of something yeah. Tena inakuwa na sijui nseme nikakuzoeana na sina shida na hiyo i mean it's the path we choose yeah. so yeah those are just two of the reservations mm. we had mm. but mostly privacy yeah, about... on, on a normal day when we were not on youtube tungefanya anything and did yeah. and i've also seen this that maybe a youtuber will do a mistake and you fanya on a normal day but yeah, ata nikwa ita criticize you ita a big deal yeah. so that is well Okay. Yeah. So I think maybe for me, I think those are the ones that we have but I think for yeah. me also, I have always been protective and reclusive especially for my family and I feel I'm that line of defense 
run or wake out there yeah. and i can't control like don't say that don't yeah, say that yeah. so the people will just express with the same yeah. uh, extent they show love yeah. one woman when i zamua kutana the yeah. same way you don't control how much they told you and gave you affirmations when i zamua kutana yeah. and i think for me i can handle a lot but now if they do that maybe to the people i love na hiyo sim tunaweza endea It's a very I'm, vulnerable yeah, moment. Yeah, that's vulnerability. I always like being I have always like being in control and being mm. in charge how mm. much people know, mm. how much I'm out there. But here we are. But I think also it's not all gloom. We we also understand in every field there are challenges. No. So yeah. those are the challenges when it comes to publicity and now YouTube and we pray for the journey as well. Yeah, sure. That whatever challenge comes I will be able to surmount it, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So my question is what is the greatest lesson life has taught you so far? One life the greatest lesson is seasonal. Yeah. Yeah, life has taught me it is seasonal. You are down, you can't stay down forever. A season of being up is coming. Hmm. You are up, be careful, respect people, be kind. A day might, might come. Yeah. You know? Hmm. If I look at the word Jesus Christ himself told us, in fact the only thing he gave an assurance in this world you'll have trouble. Yeah. So you know you 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 may be in that season. You know like life is a voyage. You mm. are on a sea and sometimes there is the, the sun is shining and the sea is calm and you are sailing uh, you, you you know you are, you are you are sailing smoothly. Yeah. And then the next moment the same sky which was very blue. It is very dark. Yeah. The wind is raging and there is a storm. Mm. So I, I I have learned when in the storm be still. Mm. Yani tulia tu don't make any permanent decision for temporary issues yeah. because temporary even in in marriage is not always any day it's, it's a good day but make sure that you you survive through yeah. a good day is coming yeah. if you just see it through and yeah. i think even most people who end up in divorce and i'm not advocating for people staying in abusive places is that if you are able just to see out a season yeah. a better day was coming yeah. if you kept up the hope yeah because uh, hope does not disappoint that's what the bible says so life that's one of the biggest uh, thing i have learned in life and i wish i knew earlier yeah. that life is seasonal mm. if you are acting this way it's just a season yeah. if we just see it through and god tukiomba mungu that season in aisha another good sure. season is coming wakati kona do tumia vizuri pia cuz time ingine na kama corona inaingia bila mpango and the reason i realize is like i wish we could tumia ile do i saved it and everything so mm. life is season yeah yeah but i think i've also realized yeah. God intended for seasons to be there. Absolutely. So there's no way you can carry your oasis to the desert. Kata mm-hmm. dry out bado. Uh, uh, Is that true? Kabisa. Na anafunga baka milango. In fact, he promised yeah. Noah, as long as the heaven and earth exist, there will always be summer, yeah. winter, yeah. all the seasons will always yeah. be there. And you can't shield yourself from those moments. True. You you may prepare for them so that you survive through, but you cannot stop them. Yeah. What is that one time you almost broke up as a married couple? And why? The only time we almost broke up was before we got married. Yeah. And that's because we as I said earlier, we didn't understand the nature of disagreements. So that time I felt nika when you were live chwangumo hizi ambilika. And you you also felt like nakuja headlong on things. Yeah. I'm not ready to reason. So that clash ilifanya we almost broke up before we got married. Yes. But thankfully we have a very good best couple. They really walked us through the realities of marriage such that you could almost visualize everything happening. Mm-hmm. And much as of course they didn't like quite shield us from the challenges, they helped us understand the journey. Mm-hmm. Plus thankfully being born again d- does a lot in marriage because now you have the one you go to when things are not working and that's God. And God is for marriage. So anytime when maybe I'm not seeing as I should Uh, he helped me see see it from i think i should say his perspective yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah and, and, and i think for me i agree i think we have never had that moment we can say we almost yeah uh broke up challenges have come but i think there is a certain understanding we came with like marriage when we are getting into what we are getting into this is for life yeah na mtu akisikia sasa amechoka alambe glucose tupatane asubuhi tuendele so i think that i think what you sometimes una sema ni ujanja ya prepare for sometimes what you fear uh, ndio inaka things could happen yeah. yeah so for us we came in and we realized like uh, the bible says uh, that uh, marriage should be honored by all yeah. 
we are not honorable the way we doesn't say on uh, on each other no? sometimes there are time you don't find me honorable yeah. or you are not honorable yeah. but you when you have this institution that is perfect and yeah. bigger than you mm. that is made by god there are some things you know okay maybe na feel even a home to see honorable but i have this institution that i need to work for mm. and god expect me to and anything god gives you he has given you the ability to yeah. to survive mm. and uh, not only survive enjoy yeah so what is the season by una unajua huko hakuna kutoka yeah and i think it has helped us it has and of course mostly about honoring god but i also feel to some extent in a way we are protective about each other mhm in this sense, I, i realized when something bad happens to you and not even in so much magnitude i forget about any bad thing ishaifanyika so even during our disagreements there's something who can you my is still very protective of you same thing with you so i think at ujais kumana to that point here yeah, we want to leave each other or we want to break up but mostly because it's god in the picture absolutely what is the worst pain you have gone through yet and did i offer you enough support okay so um i'm reminded of a, a certain kind of mourning in it were disenfranchised now this kind of pain am a mourning is not directly connected to you so people may not understand i say for example unaona kitu kama a miscarriage yeah you know people think it's just like the way you have your period move on as in you had not met the baby you, but those people who go through such an experience they deeply mourn it's like losing a baby but most people don't understand them so what they go through they they don't mourn well because it's not embraced out there now for me i went through such a thing miscarriage no oh. that disenfranchised <laughs> kind of pain okay. one that people don't acknowledge as a kind of pain mm-hmm. or a kind of mourning yeah. so what happened this is time to look at mendo shago then we went to one of our pastor's church back there and then when we went to his church there's this ka baby alikuwa nakuwa dedicated that day and i remember that time i'm the one who held the baby for the lady and when i was looking for the baby i remember the following week we were going to sa and i kept seeing about villena skenkana za kupata baby fever because of that ka baby i had seen yeah i had really fallen in love with that baby and i loved the way she looked she, was it a he or a she i can't remember it was a boy actually mm-hmm. so he was so cute i i just fell in love with the baby so only later to come and learn through the news that the dad killed the baby wow the dad to that baby you remember oh yeah 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 now yeah, for me i mourned i mourned like it was my own mm-hmm. i really mourned the death of that baby someone would not really understand because i remember even at work when i would talk about someone who lost a baby nilikuwa naanza kulia like it's my own and funny thing i i remember i kept sharing with you at times i would just cry at in bed and no one would really understand me because it wasn't my baby yeah. we were not related in any way but i really mourned the death of that baby even to the day we went for the burial when i was really identifying with every feeling the mama was going through and yeah you comforted me like you really understood which i would think anyone would not yeah. really understand no no it was a painful even you know especially yeah. that relation like a father just took the baby and oh, just smashed God. the head yeah uh, it was it was um, bad it was bad it was really yeah. bad yeah. yeah i'm glad i was there yeah don't wait <laughs> Don't this is the temptation. <laughs> Where and how do you find peace? In in God. Okay. Um in prayers, mm-hmm. especially in his word. Mm. I think it's um I know maybe I'll, I'll say home or whatever, but I think it's that's where it is. Mm. I think when you get peace in God, uh that peace is beyond human understanding. Yeah. It's that peace where you nakaka bakuwa zuzu cuz maybe you japata answer lakini nasikia tu ume you are too peace I'm at peace yeah? Yeah. so most of the time when i go to the house of god and i pray and maybe read the word 
I think that's the place I get peace. Okay. And of course now you in Guinea as a nigga and nyumbani and I rush here when I have had a bad day and mm. I find you guys. It's your heaven. Yeah. Okay. You make it a heaven then. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. Alright, your question. Alright, so what are some of the things you think we should work on in our marriage? Okay, I don't know whether to say funny enough, we had that talk beginning of this year. Yeah. And you are saying there are some things we need to work on as a couple mm-hmm. and we are already in progress. Tell us. Maybe let some. me mention some of those, yeah? Oh. We agreed to be reading a book as a couple, a book that will help enhance because at times you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. That's one. I think we need to work on financial management. Yeah, yeah we need to work on financial the management. Continuous learning, learning. Yeah. I feel I've never really gotten my act right when it comes to spending money. Yeah. I'm a big spender. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. And I'm a big spender. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, you should work on that. Uh, are I, you working? <laughs> we. We. Are you working on it or you're working we on it? We should work on it. Yeah. yeah. And I think we, you. You can learn enough, you keep learning, and yeah. life is a, is, a, is a learning curve. Yeah. What is your worst fear? One, financially. Then two, emotionally. It's not being able to provide for my family, like the basic okay. needs. Mm. Uh, yeah, like uh, reaching that place. Mm. Because I, I know some, we, we had very tough beginnings. Mm. But at least one way or another, Mungu alikuwa na kamu unapata. Yeah. But although there are times where any yani the, the the only thing you could have to occupy to make sure at least food me patikana. Yeah. Rent na nini hiyo ikuwa ina kaa iko mbali sana. So I would want to go back to that place financially. Yeah. Yeah. The place you are not able to meet your basic need. Mm. Yeah. Though Mungu toa at level of learning na kwa sasa hiyo si hiyo issue mko mm. issue ingine. Yeah. Yeah. The other one is emotional. emotionally. Do I even have emotions? <laughs> emotionally. Tell us about it. Um you've I, never thought about I've it. I've never thought about it like I fear this happening to me emotionally. But I think um it all comes down to one uh, my family and uh, the kind of bond we share and that is something I would never want to. That's why I am very slow in some making some of the decision like mm. getting on YouTube. There's mm. some places that bonds I don't want them to be touched mm. or the people I'm very protective about. You don't even fear losing someone or oh, that's not emotional. That is everything. I think it's emotional, psychological, it's everything. Huh? Yeah. So I I don't think about that. I don't I think I don't think I give it time like thinking about them. Yeah. Because I don't want that thing to be true like what you fear happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever snooped on me or on my phone behind my back? Behind This in one, front <laughs> on the side everywhere. You do? Yeah. I did. <laughs> and behind your back. It. I didn't need to be behind your back. No, no, this one is very clear. It's behind my back, meaning I like Now say this slope. all over your back, in front, at the side, behind. No, this we are curious with the, with the viewers. With the viewers. Yes. No, just snooping because I can. Snooping. Yeah. Okay. Just checking, looking for trouble. You do? I did. When? Then when I kept lacking trouble, mm. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very new. Yeah. I've never heard about I love this guy. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank I you too. I could say that uh, <laughs> she would never. My phone is always there, I think. And I'm like, nah, nah, that's so the whole I, point. I don't understand why you, you know snooping seem like mm. yeah. or, or something you are. You know, it's uh, certainly. Si me yangu. Yeah. What is the worst loss you have suffered emotionally? We were we, we grew in a hard knock place where yeah. I don't think emotions if you know. Uh, like but I've also realized because of that yeah. you sacrifice your emotions for other people. Like now, if we were both hard hit by something, you will look like you're okay to know why I'm suffering emotionally. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm learning that uh, it's okay to be in touch with your emotions. Yeah. Doesn't mean that Maybe you do something about it, but being mama. in touch. Yeah. Uh, I'm still learning, so but I I think I, I I don't know whether I have ever gone through an emotional loss. Okay, if I can mention this, is the aspect that my dad never said. I, I always look for this word. I'm proud of you, my son. I never had that word. 
ever Sorry. in my life unapata unapata 90 hit na kuuliza hizi bill uliacha za uliachia nani mm. so i think um, what did that did over time mambo ya nini tukajua hiyo expression ya feelings keep it to yourself oh. take what life offers but of so I, i don't know whether i have anything to do with that wow okay yeah. Yeah, you need some serious emotional repairing how am i doing as a husband Uh this is not for the camera. You okay. are doing amazing. Zim, oh. I was told that I was doing. No, I'm saying I'm not saying this for the camera. Ah, okay. You are doing amazing. You're very intentional and you've been that since I knew you. Yeah. And I think also not being in touch with your emotions has helped to some extent. <laughs> you don't get hurt easily. So I can imagine if we we were both of us to look like evil maybe tungekuwa forever at loggerheads which habit of mine do you love the most Why which habit of mine do you hate and wish that I'd change man getting late yeah yeah you're never in a hurry and you're really testing my patience over here <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah because i don't uh, we talk about it this time we were late and you do exactly in fact you'll you have a record you keep breaking i don't know but yes do ni kuitia nani bisho no sit nambi why your own competitor next time do better than you did last time you know on the worst yeah no 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 i'm <laughs> helping you time, grow and patience aka kuna madhara pisto issue ya time i think out there wanaweza kusaidia sana kwa sababu is that bad yeah inajua inajua inabidi tu either utulie ama wa sometimes we have to go very very near place mtu aende na gari yake cause tukingojana itakuwa ngori mtu mmoja tena amejam okay what conversations do you find hard to have with me gosh to be sincere nan hmm Nikisema there are any ntadanganya. I ask. Okay. Mm-hmm. Name three things that make you proud of me. Hey, manze, you, you are you, you are supportive. Very supportive. I think um if there's one thing I have counted on you is your support. Okay. Uh that is one you have been solid on that front. You are prayerful. Una mm-hmm. tuombea. Uh, Sana I think in life ukipata mtu akuombe you are in trouble yeah. especially as a man yeah. and also you are very caring and generous okay yeah i find you okay in a way although it used to be discomfort me when i see you being affected by other people's issue na unazileta so now kai unasema umeona kitu now i have to do the mopping na umekuja nayo ndani and i'll mourn for two yes, weeks you go and yeah. see someone who is having this and this issue nasema tu i think babe tumsaidia ama tufanye mm. nini and you feel like unachukua so many mopping yeah. and bringing in i think that um, that is outstanding okay it's christ like oh. yeah if you could hit the rewind button what part of your life would you want to change my campus grade i was capable of having a straight a Campus. Uh, not campus sorry high school yeah i was very capable of scoring a straight a but a, but now in primary a school bent a. a bent a so sasa <laughs> me i went for everything ile game ilikuwa na tournament a certain time ninge train for that game just to go for outings so i if i was very intentional about my studies i'd have scored a straight a so maybe that's one part i'd have changed okay uh-huh. Which roles do you expect me to play as your wife? The one you do. The ones I do. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Lakini like maybe sijui maybe the new curriculum inakuja na zingine so. Si busy. Acha kungoja ile. The new the new CS <laughs> atoe zake tuone kama ume bado umefikisha zake but I think uh, as far as being a wife is concerned I am content. Yeah. Awesome. Nime pass with flying colors. Yeah. Okay. Don't get conceited. Ah <laughs> no no no. Okay. Your question. What do you want our legacy as a couple to be? I want us to be a remnant on godly matters in this generation. Because uh, with time in Akanikama that was the old time gospel. Yeah. So say you find that there are people who say they are born again but their lives and their testimony has been like yeah i agree so for me i am i'm that old time christian any yeah. day yeah 
sold out. Yeah, sold out. And yeah, I want us to be that to our dying breath. No, no, that one I think we agree 2000%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's um that's something that we burn for. Yeah. Uh, Christ yeah. know him and making him known yeah. through our lives. Yeah. Okay. How are we different from other couples? There is aspect we were talking about in one of our videos about us being very different, coming from a different, uh, having a lot of diversity, mm -hmm. even in our persona and everything. Mm. Yet we have used our diversity to bring the a beauty strength. as yeah. a strength. Because we are, we, we are not similar at all. We came together, we come talk huku, we talk huku. But we have used to, uh, so many of our differences. Yeah. To make then I think maybe we'd have explained what's unique about us, not in comparison with any other couple. Because I believe they are also guys out there who have a similar story. Okay. So when did you feel most loved by me? Four babies down, I still feel like we are dating. So when? I, you know, if I was to point at something, I managed it was so unique. Yes. But me, I felt moment. your love all through. I'm being sincere. Because I'm even trying to think, was it when you took me somewhere? Was it when you bought me something? Mm -hmm. can I reduce to an event? Okay. For me, it's always. Okay, we, we understand now that when I'm Janja. So CPR. CPR. Yeah. Outstanding. Maybe a moment that swept off your, you off your feet. Fine. Let me go for this moment, but it akua for the sake of the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we wanted to start our YouTube channel, uh, my hubby was not in it at all, at all. I was in it. But for me, I wasn't going to go at it alone. So it was, you pray about it, but I want us to start a YouTube channel. And you are very, what can I say? You are very reserved with that idea. In fact, that I how could engage, you didn't even do anything. But in the process, that's when actually you bought me the iPhone. Yeah. For the shooting and all that, yet at a may decide to na So for me, I would feel my interests came first. At a kahuko may immerse yourself. At you would look like you had not even thought about it. For me, by there, that was one green light, because I was very clear. I want our YouTube to be about us, yeah. not me. So when you bought this phone, I felt you were considering me before yourself. Well, P iPhone na tuna love yake, but I would <laughs> feel right. I would feel on that one. Okay. You loved me, you considered me better than yourself. All right. Yeah. Thank you. But there are general answer you always. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah. And then some. Yeah. What personality traits do you admire the most about me? You are full of life. You're bubbly. Okay. There are those situations will show up and you, you know, the way when you are, you are two, kuna hatu wana feel like mkona vibe, lakini unajua tu ni mtu moja, tu wana vibe. <laughs> so you can, I can, I can lay My back. My vibe looks good on you. Then, <laughs> hey, this couple is interesting. Lakini yeah. sasa mimi. Unajua si kapo. Ah, Nikekuja hapo peke yangu. Nikejino. Nishinda nani ya lileta huyu. But, anyway, so I, I think you, you, the way, the, the kind of energy, especially when you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. you bring the life to to, to, to spaces. The know. life of the party. Yeah. Yeah. I admire also your, um, what do you call, lessons. Okay. The way you handle adversity. Those who may even change, for example, jobs. Yeah. Like the time you were saying yeah. you were fired um, yeah. unfairly. Yeah. The way you really shook and you rebound and you went and you broke records. Yeah. The place you went to. Yeah. You're very resilient, even in wow. the face of all those issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. How much alone time should couples give to each other? As you grow, as a couple, you should learn to read the signs. There are times when I realize maybe sequo in, into any vibe. Stucky yeah. story, stucky saying that a stucky company. You know people there are people who can be alone together. Mm. You are there doing your own thing, I'm here doing my own thing, na stucky story. Yeah. Nasina ubaya. It's just that maybe I'm just down and out and it's not something like, it's not like a specific thing that you want to talk about, but I just want alone time. Yeah. And I think, I think it's, it's healthy for each and every one of us. And yeah. I, I love the way you, you have done it. Because sometimes, you know, maybe you, are, you just want to 
take a break and maybe ni kusoma science. You know sometimes people think that if you are down my work is just to come and comfort just, uh, me, you tell know, me things. Yeah, sometimes all you need to ni kukula ulane. Yeah. Uh, so hata Elijah kuna time alikuwa anafikia ni mambo ya spirit wakaambua amka ukula just uh, ninja. Ninja <laughs> tu kusubua ama ni yeah. just rest. I think yeah. rest is very important. Yeah. Sometimes hata unapata maybe na sometimes watoto wanakuja kukuita na wambia no 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 mama is stressed yeah. just uh, take some time and you yeah. also do the same yeah, yeah because they, they need us in our prime so yeah. that we can be able to be of service to them yeah, yeah. yeah. i think it grow of time sure is it essential to know everything about our past relationships yeah if you have to it what do you want to know <laughs> <laughs> no no the issue, i think the, the point is um You know you are unique in your own when you come here and you say like there's a something that you know maybe it quite okay it to become something that was a, like a secret mm. it was substantial yeah it was substantial mm. say it yeah. early on yeah. and in, the, in fact it should be said wakati uko mko uko dating mm. there are some things that are deal breaker ukikuja kusemea huko ndani vitu vya maana yeah, yeah. so there are those then there are others who talk here too uko katikati and then so I, i think it's very important some of those things could be same okay if you feel they are essential enough mm. and they may have an impact on mm. your relationship mm. others are simply one day you are storytelling and you are you just had had a you deja vu remember yeah. some moments huh? reminisce na some kitu poa okay you have just a, you, like you have a babe ma- let's reminisce about my ex no it was talking about <laughs> exes yeah past relationships oh they are the one who are called exes yes okay <laughs> <laughs> so if I was to answer the question, yes. me I think I would answer it differently. What do you say? I would say it's not necessary. You know I had a past. I know you had a past. You don't owe me your past. Not oh, unless oh. as you're saying, as you're saying, not unless it's something very substantial. Yeah, when I was going to go date cheesy, alafu akuja nikatakata baadaye. No, you see, it's still as you. That is substantial <laughs> then. So, yeah. No, then that's substantial. No, I said about Ali cheesy na kaina madhara hiyo story iliisha. The next moment nimekataka na kueleweki nani Ali. Yeah. It's good you know. So I, I'm saying yes to a certain extent. Yeah. Have nothing in in secret yangu. No, in fact I think my point is Yeah. It's not a secret. But it's not something I would reach out like make sure you tell me everything. No, lakini mna poendelea kukaa vitu zingine ujitoa, zingine hazina ene in the way significant. Yeah. What is your favorite memory of us? Wow. A favorite memory. Mm-hmm. Rank them, get one. When we went to Cape Town. It's a very emotional moment for me. <laughs> because when we had covid yeah and there's no way we were going to miss that trip eh hey, for me si jingo askia ndio safari ya kwenda binguni and there's no way i was missing that trip for whatever yeah so i hey, that night i didn't sleep and yet really, and then i don't know why they used to put it so close to the traveling date ume ume jipanga for the trip you have packed you have prepared that a kazini i won't be around i won't be in the country you know only for results to come 72 hours to the trip and then number two kona covid and that time it used to be so strict how get travel it used to be so unfair to me i was the only one who was getting I it. used to keep contracting covid and especially to keep travel yeah. actually at one point we had to travel back into the country by bus because we couldn't fly back Line. no actually just i think when it changed terms just i think a day before yeah. like now they will just be checking on the vaccination N- oh the yeah results. oh yeah whether you've been vaccinated yeah, vaccination yes but they actually yeah, used to check it was also a move of of, of, of god yeah, it was a move of faith yeah yeah and uh, but I, i think this one that is still also outstanding although we were traveling okay you remember that day that was very eventful you are, i was taking you to it was tanzania hey dar es salaam yes yeah. Then it was actually a, on my birthday. You had an accident in the morning. A bad accident. Nikaenda kukuokota na huko barabara. Kuniokota. Eh, na gari tuka nikabeba nikabebesha wewe ndo maliza shughuli. But the gari liko almost right off. Yes, because it you have a, a surprise. You didn't know where you are going. It was yeah. a bad day. Yeah. And then you had target za kampuni za kumaliza. Yeah. Hapo kuna bad day mbaya 27th December. Yeah. Then yeye ni mwisho wa mwaka. Then wewe umechelewesha. Unajua ujui niko nakwambia tunaenda Mombasa road. So una mbio. Then flight ilikuwa ya 2. Then we umekuja sijui ikielekea tu tu ikielekea tu. Yeah. Na tuko home. 
daily to listen hiyo imetuacha tukua kama Marcus yeah. hiyo story imeisha then unashindwa mbona niko na pressure ni Mombasa Road Yami yeah that day was very memorable then tukafika airport tukapata ndege imedileiwa yeah by like for no three reason, hours yeah tungojewe tulipoingia hivi ikaachiliwa tukaambiwa tuingie it was a miracle we were so yeah. happy yeah only to find our passports were not stamped exit. by immigration by immigration yeah. wametupea passport yeah. kufika kule they want to deport us umeshikwa Yeah. Yeah, you you guys came here illegally. Yeah. So when you grill. It was bad. You know some of my favorite memory. No, I'm talking about a, a memorable moment. Oh. Not favorite. There's nothing <laughs> right about that. But I think it was outstanding. It was. Yeah, it but was. it was enjoyed. an extremely eventful day. It was. Yeah. Na ulikataa kuingia kwa cell wewe. Eh, hey, singe kubali. Yeah, I wasn't a criminal. I wasn't <laughs> the one who supposed <laughs> to stand. Nilikuita, nilisema huu ni bibi yangu akacheka yuko sana. <laughs> Kuja muone tu ni bibi, bibi yake. yake. It actually meant grandmother. Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. It is said bibi ni grandmother. Yeah. So to them nika ulikuwa unauliza huyu ni nani? Huyu ni nyanya yangu. So hakuwa anaelewa what you are saying. Hiyo time nilikuwa myanga. I'm maybe ulikuwa una. Sure, sure. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, that's my last question. Last. The last one. So it be do make up your question cuz I have one. Okay. Last. How can we make our relationship stronger? Me believe in knowledge. Okay. Yeah, because um what you know you are able to master and learn. Mm. So I have realized at the time I was very deliberate about knowing you well because I'm not married to the whole world. You know sometimes we learn about other people there yet ule mtu anastahili kupenda tu wako hapo. Yeah. Just need to know what wanapenda, nini mm. hapendi, nini um tick off nini umfraisha yeah. just take a master class on that person you yeah. have yeah. 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 and then from there just do it and enjoy yeah. the walk huh? yeah. and i do believe you in spiritual matters jua tu mungu unataka nini eh yeah. enjoy walk over other is that what una una crawl una sema i just don't want to go to hell let me yeah. just live with me but once you understand someone through knowledge yeah. because I, i believe that's why the word says this in the book of proverbs that through wisdom mm-hmm. a house is established yes. Uh, sorry it's built mm-hmm. yeah, so through 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 um, wisdom yeah. a house is built a, a, a house is built through understanding it is established yeah. and through knowledge is filled with treasure yeah. so i think those three things are very important mm-hmm. upate wisdom upate understanding upate knowledge mm-hmm. about how marriage works mm-hmm. because do you know we take a lot of I've been uh, I've been I've been uh, I've been a scientist mm-hmm. so long I've done so many courses eh? i want to master ile kazi nataka kufanya. Mm. Yet in marriage watu tu watatu kurani. Yeah. yeah, kuja yeah. na kula na lala. Mm. And then they want they, they want things to work. And I think it's work, you have yeah. to study, you mm. have to put time into it mm. and gather as much knowledge as possible. Yeah. Love is a is, is good thing it start things up but doesn't sustain. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. So I think it's been nice, it's been fun Absolutely. doing this with you. Yeah. It's always fun and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun doing this because uh, it also keeps us thinking and yeah. being intentional about our journey. Yeah. yeah. So far so good. Yeah. And, and uh, thanks guys for watching. Love how we sign up. Yeah. So blessings to you guys. Yes. See you at the Fukus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For us. Bye bye guys. Bye. Bye. bye.